All right, so now this uh this next one is from Steely Mike. Shout out to Steely Mike, by the way. And he wanted to know what we thought of Isaiah Bugs' performance. <laughs> Uh, dude, I'll be real. I didn't notice too, too much throughout huh? the game. It was obviously the big play. What was it? Uh, a uh, tackle for loss, Yeah, right? yeah, the tackle for loss. Then he had the fourth and two stop on uh, Lamar at the end of the game, yeah. That's that's what I noticed. Outside mm-hmm. of that, I didn't notice it too, too much. I mean, just even re-watching the game, man, it's just, it was hard to keep track of, like, what everyone's yeah. supposed to be doing if everyone's playing it the right way. And just because how fast the Ravens' offense dude, moves. fast. <laughs> so it was tough for me throughout the game. I knew he was in there, like because mm-hmm. I think they mentioned him here or there. But the play I really noticed was the the big tackle for loss, and yeah. then obviously you said at the end of the game there, those are clutch moments. So good game by him. I don't know. So I'll be interested if because you were probably analyzing him more just throughout the game, his technique, mm-hmm. just like the little things. So I guess the question goes back to you. Yeah. So um. I thought Isaiah played well. Like I said, as the game went on early on, it wasn't just him. It was, a, uh, and we'll get to this as well. But um, just I thought the speed of it when he first got in took him a little bit of time to adjust to it, and then him understanding that when you're playing against an option team like the Ravens, you have to be fundamentally sound every time. He had some plays early where he was a little bit successful, and then he had some plays early on where he was also. Like I said, not as fundamentally sharp as he needed to be um, back during some plays. And what we mean by that is typically if a blocker is coming at you, right, you want to beat that guy to the spot. You want to cross in front of him, not behind him. When you backdoor someone, it's the path, it's the path of least resistance. And if you're a great athlete like Isaiah Bugs is, you can make that. But when you're playing against a team that has great athletes like the Ravens have as well, when you backdoor things... You're just going to get gashed. And that's ultimately what was happening with him. And it wasn't just him. Like I said, it was a, a couple of the guys on that uh, on the defense, especially the D-line area. And it just took them some time. But I did think as a whole, Isaiah Bugs, his energy, I loved his energy. After every play he made, man, he was jumping up. He was hyped to be out there. I love seeing that, especially with younger players. Um, like I said, um, in terms of him understanding how to attack Lamar as well. As the second half progressed, you would see everybody else was rushing. He wasn't even the spy, but his job as as the interior rusher is to make sure Lamar can't step up. If Lamar does, you got to be able to come off the block and make the tackle. And you would see, okay, he would, you know, push the guy back one or two yards, and he's just kind of sitting there. He'd still there, be open enough right. to make a move left Absolutely. or right. Absolutely, whereas with some guys, especially younger guys, when you get in those type of big games, you're so thirsty to make a play. <laughs> that you forget all about that. You just want to drive this guy back and show your great pass rush move. But while you're doing that, you're creating an a open lane for Lamar. I thought he did a great job in terms of understanding that element of the game, understanding that, era, that, that weakness of the defense and saying, okay, this is how I fit in right here. This is how I can impact. And we saw him make multiple big time plays, especially late in the game. Uh, uh, like I said on that, the, the, the fourth and two stop and the stop before that, um, and this is, like I said, their second to last drive, not the last drive, the second to last drive. We make the stop in the red zone. Two, those final two plays were made by Isaiah Bugs, But you could just see throughout the game how he was just learning that and adapting to that. But as a whole, I thought he did really good, man. Yeah, good with that. And, and the thing, too, that people, a lot of people don't realize is Isaiah Bugs had a first round grade on him coming out of Alabama. The knock on him was. When did it, we even draft him? Uh, it would have been two years ago. The, the knock when on did, him was When this. did we draft him? Uh, it was uh, six, six rounds. Round. Six round. Jeez. But the knock on him was this. First round ability, motor was his issue. That's why you hear me praising his excitement, praising him post play, jumping up and down because at Alabama, you would see him take plays off. He would look good for a stretch. I mean, I I, want to say he led their team in sacks the one year he was down there and he (laughs) looked great. But then you would see him take four or five plays off, and it was very frustrating. It was kind of like Jadavion Clowney. We talk about Clowney, right? Man, he'll make a, a spectacular play, then he kind of disappears. That was the knock on Bugs, and that's why he dropped so far in the draft. But if this kid can continue to play like how he's playing right now in terms of the energy, in terms of the effort every snap, dude, that's a first-round talent for a reason. He is good. He has the athletic ability. And we saw glimpses of that yesterday. Combine that with Hayward, to it, Alu Alu. Mm-hmm. Now we got Mondu. Nice defensive line we got Absolutely, building here. man. <laughs> hey, man, and, and I'm just loving the fact that we're getting role players stepping up, making big plays. Isaiah Bugs and Henry Mondu, I love that element of it, man. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. 